Order, order. Order, order. Does that sound like the speaker? I, sa I said to Steve, and I said to some of my colleagues, why are we launching this House of Commons? And do you know what they said? Because it's bloody marvellous. What you have produced here is incredibly important and is a signpost to the future. I think your report, focusing on non-labour resource efficiency and the potential for UK manufacturing, isn't just timely, it's absolutely bang on. The report is about a shift in that emphasis from labour to resource productivity. Resource productivity, using water, energy and materials as efficiently as possible, hasn't been the subject of the same focus of attention. Revolution is quite important within the uh, manufacturing section. Uh, we've got incredible opportunities to save more energy, to recycle more waste, to uh, do things much more efficiently with our resources and not just think about how, the, uh, how we can cut costs by, by labour costs only. Uh, if you look at improvements in non-labour uh, resource productivity, there's a lot of them waiting to be unlocked. And what we found was uh, a 12% profit improvement in average for UK manufacturers worth £10 billion. Now, if you think about it, that's a pretty low-risk thing to do. This is resource efficiency. On the social side of things, 300,000 new jobs we found. And then finally, the third dimension, um, Steve, is in environmental. And what we found is 27 million tonnes of CO2 uh, per annum, which, to give you an idea, is about 24% of the entire uh, sector's uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And it's not just for the uh, philanthropic uh, environmental impact, although that's very, very important. But the reality is it's, it's good for our customers, it makes good business sense and it's also very, very good for the environment. Now we're very fortunate that Two Degrees are another founding member in the next Manufacturing Revolution work. They have 32,000 members looking for ways to create a better business and a better tomorrow. Uh, Al Gore was the, the, the key uh, speaker at that thing. And one of the things he said was really interesting. He said, look, what in his view makes a difference is when people like us in, in the room here start to join the dots up on this stuff. So what our platform, if you like, and our process in this community has done is joined people up across a number of supply chains. So we can start to do some very interesting things. We can take good practice in one supply chain and get a manufacturer in a different supply chain to understand it and do it. We can take waste in one area and use it as a resource in another area. And the revolution is to put on different classes and to see your factory in a different way, to see your processes as water, waste and energy, which is money and impact, just going up the chimney. As a successful business, we know that uh, we have a big economic footprint. And we know that we need to grow responsibly and sustainably. That's why we've put sustainability at the absolute heart of our business. Sustainability will not happen by chance. It will, it will happen by leading change. And those of you who don't want to lead change, then sustainability will not happen. And that's something really important to walk away with today, in that unless you lead the change, nothing will happen. Taking heads out of a business is an easy way to reduce costs. But at the end of the day, there's a whole bunch of things that have been forcing resource prices up um, due to scarcity, due to inclusion of externalities into the economy. And those sorts of things are meaning that companies now have a bigger opportunity to address non-labour resource productivity and make some big savings. We don't do these things, those of us who are passionate about manufacturing, we don't do them for fun. We do it because we care about the manufacturing sector, we care about sustainability and we want to make things happen and we want to share the information. We've got a lot of the answers and a lot of people don't understand that we got that far. So stay with us, make sure we know about you, and keep the discussion moving along. Thank you for your attendance. Good night.